the three dancers who are the stars of Swadesh, which is going to be performed for the first time in March in Liverpool and London. Uh, so we're going to ask them a few questions. Uh, the first one is, guys, what does Swadesh mean to you? I think, well, I think I can answer um, as somebody who, who has not lived in India my whole life, somebody who was not born in India. Um, this is actually a question that I ask myself really often because um, I love being here. I, I feel more at home here than I do in the U.S. where I, where I grew up. And so people always ask me, what is it about India that you love so much? Um, and so kind of this, the discussion, working with Swadesh is kind of what has helped me realize that it's, it's this collective spirit, it's this um, feeling of, I mean, it's just this constant bustle, this constant feeling of company, of, of having people around you. Um, in the U.S., I mean, obviously you, have, you are around people, but everybody's kind of doing their own thing, everybody's very much on their own. Here, even though that, I mean, that is still the case, there's just this feeling of common spirit. It's really hard to kind of pinpoint exactly what that is, but it's just, it's like an intangible feeling that is in everything mm. across, even though know, so many different languages, so many different cultures, so much multiplicity, it feels like there is something that really binds the country and the people. Yeah. I think, yeah, exactly. When, I mean, as soon as you say India, what comes to my mind is like, a lot of people, abundance of like, different colors, different people, different languages, different food. And still there's something that, you know, that's that common, I don't know whether you want to call it an emotion or it's a feeling that we're, even though we're so different, there's something that binds us together. And I think for me that is very, very special and it's what, there's a very, this is a very distinct, unique feeling of, even with a lot of variety and multiplicity, it's, this that common something that brings us back together, which also brings us back to India, you know, like for many years, that's what brings us back. <laughs> Wherever we are, whatever it is, there's something that there's a link, which is what we're, I think, exploring in Swadesh. Just yesterday during the person, you talked about warmth, you talked about going to villages. Would you like to share something yeah. of that? Yeah, so um, I have had the experience of uh, traveling to various villages of uh, India and performing there for people. And it was, I mean, I can't really express it in words, in the kind of feeling that uh, I carry back from that experience of just uh, seeing the kind of, that's, you know, how we say in India, Aditi Devo Bhava. It is a saying that we've heard all our lives and we kind of believe in it. Yeah, we treat our guests with a lot of honor and respect and love. But in the smallest of villages, remotest of villages, I saw that and that saying actually come alive, you know. People there, they didn't have enough of, you know, like money, this, that, nothing. They are like, literally, you know, I mean, what we call a life, they don't have enough of that. But the kind of love they extended towards us, the warmth, you know, so just like welcoming us. And it was such a warm experience and that I carry with me wherever I go. So that is what is actually for me, I think, the essence of India, which that spirit, which is which exists in like, you know, you see it in fleeting moments everywhere in your daily life also. You'll be going somewhere, just just maybe a smile, you know. You know, you're walking and there's your eyes meet and there's a smile and you walk back in your life. There's something that, you know, and she was also saying, it's not so individualistic, there's always that collective feeling, which I think is, uh, is what is India. Lisa? Yeah, for me also the same thing, actually, so they should, uh, in simple words, unity and diversity, it's always there. Like, uh, we are from all the different cultures, languages, and the different styles, food, and everything, but then also what is that, we were discussing also, that what is that thing which makes us feel that we are India, we are one. So it's like yesterday we were just talking about the gundu that we use, the gundu. That's the main thing. But in different styles, in different dances, we are that is made. That's why it the style, the culture gives us the different bodies, but the soul is same. It's like the sea, there are different rivers, but finally all the rivers will go mix with the merge with the sea only. So 
that scene is our India. That's very interesting. That that soul is so strong. That's why that makes us connected with each other. Even if we are here, we are not together. We are not working together, or we are having seen each other first time we meet. Then also we feel that peace. That's our peace. I think also like like what she's saying about the rivers and the ocean. Like I, we ask ourselves, what is that? What is the ocean? And I think the closest that I've come to being able to answer that question is the idea of faith. I mean, faith and belief and like feeling with the heart. Like I think that's something that's like so prevalent. I mean, that's what you were saying about yeah. the, the way they treat yeah. you, treat guests, the way you treat people. Um, and that's not. I mean, especially having this contrast with the West. Not that that's not there, but it, things are very intellectual. The scientific mind is very much there. But here, there's like there's really a blend. Um, of the two and it, of the head and the heart, but yeah. I think the heart is really—it's like it's what colors everything. The art is like so kind of steeped in feeling and emotion and kind of transcending through your emotion and feeling that rasa. Like rasa is always, you know, it's in food, it's in yeah. art, it's in yeah. literature, it's in poetry. Everything is colored by this feeling of wanting to be transformed, wanting to um, be filled with something. Yeah, I also felt uh, that. Um, is coming here and uh, we uh, we have colors because once I uh, did a program in Austria uh, so that time when we were after the program the organizer came and he said that uh, oh, your costumes and everything was so colorful here in the west we are so grey and black so whenever you come we feel the colors in you that's very interesting part and at the other point you will see all the colors come from the white and then again merge in the white. So we have one which is very colorful and the other part which is very white, very spiritual. So both things we have at the time. That's very yeah, it's, it's, it's all simultaneous things. Yes. What is interesting is not like, you know, this is, you know, colors. But I mean, that's, and also when we talk about colors, it's it's not just with the colors, but it's, there are also colors in our lives, right? And the way we behave, our culture, it's so colorful. And then there's still something which is, just white as one says it's like something common essence, that something essence is. which is so like inner and like and it's like so interesting, interesting that actually all of our pieces like are I mean if there is a thread it, it seemed really clear from the moment we even started speaking about our ideas that this was the idea that ran through mm -hmm. the the duality and the oneness and the mm -hmm. idea of both things existing simultaneously um, sometimes it is a contradiction but then they coexist like kind of so seamlessly. Um, yeah, it's interesting that you also talk about rasa, which uh, basically can mean taste or savoring, mm -hmm. uh, even mm -hmm. when it comes to food. Mm -hmm. But it's also something higher, like it's not emotion. Mm -hmm. what you, it's what you experience on the it's stage experience, uh, yeah, exactly. uh, with, with, with art. Um, speaking of savoring the experience of art, uh, you three have been working together for the first time. Of course, Anushi and Louis have worked together, uh, performed together before, but it's the first time the three of you have gotten together with three different styles. Louis has his Kantar, Anushi has his Odyssey, and my three is the Tharapan What's that experience been like for you? It's <laughs> Padeshi. <laughs> no, it's, I think it's, a, it's been a very enriching, I don't know, when you say enriching experience for everything these days. <laughs> shared our ideas, our thoughts, our styles with each other in a way that uh, I don't think uh, we would have like had this chance of like, kind of it's like we're coming together not in just uh, the term, in the in terms of uh, the dance coming together like I mean of course we all have like worked with other dancers but this kind of also I think because of the theme where our minds are coming together our hearts are coming in together which is uh, I mean, it really makes this special, and it's been amazing. It's, it's been fun. It's been like thinking. It's been a lot of yeah. things. Yeah, there was like an immediate comfort. I think, um, like the, something about our the, the approaches to our art, like the comfort with which we have, you know, like our approaches to rhythm and movement. Mm -hmm. like, it kind of like the piece we worked on in our first trip together. That was the first time we actually met each other. You know, but like we finished that piece. And, one or two days, like it just kind of happened very easily, yeah. um, and that was very kind of you know just like our art forms, our like technique, all that stuff. But then like over this trip, I think is when we've talked more about 
concept yeah. and we've kind of gone through the process together. It wasn't easy, like, Swadesh is not, no, I mean, it's a simple yeah. concept, but it's not something that's easy to express, mm -hmm. articulate even mentally and choreographically, you know, so like it feels like we've kind of bonded a lot. And interesting to see that we think on, on a similar level yeah. in terms of the theme. Because yeah. Swadesh, we couldn't really come up with anything, you know, yeah. but it was kind of interesting to see yeah. how yeah. similar without giving up too much about the yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When we started uh, working this uh, thing, that, so, they, so at the start, the aim was to create you know, through the, the different styles and something related to Sodesh. But uh, while working, we got the aesthetic relish in between us that <laughs> the journey become more important, the aim becomes in this journey. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, the creative process. Has been um, kind of, yeah, more like yeah, you're saying, yeah, taking yeah, precedence yeah. over the final product. Um, and it's quite remarkable that all of you have the same uh, approach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah which is uh, no, yeah. intuitively, it felt like mm -hmm. you were all working to, you were more focused on the process and yeah. you know, getting it right. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 this, and this actually, I mean, the kind of the way we uh, have sort of just did. I can tell you, it doesn't happen like that with everyone. Because dancers, they have their own like ideas, their approach, their treatment of pieces. It can be very different. But I mean, what is nice is that we have our different our distinctions. Yeah. But yet, it's, I mean, the, when we come together, it just a very smooth coming together. Yeah. So it's nice. And I think we, I mean, not to just not to be like acknowledging everybody in the room, but it's true. I think that having you. I mean, Akila on board with us. Like, it's really hard when three of us are choreographing our own work, we're trying to put our own ideas together. Mm -hmm. We really need somebody who can make that seamless, who can kind of articulate things that we might be hinting at, but we don't right. even know where right. right. them. And to hear somebody else kind of be like, I think this is what you're saying, or, you know, maybe mm -hmm. this, maybe you need this in order to crystallize your idea. I think that's mm -hmm. been really like. Just to so have this, like, other perspective on things is. I think very, very important, especially when you're choreographing something, when you're creating something, it's very important to have uh, different perspectives on it. Yeah. yeah. Which is about like a sounding board. Yeah. You know. What I found really interesting is that this core paradox or contrast that all of you are talking about is something that is there in your process. As somebody who's watching your process from the outside, giving feedback and you know, incorporating for a script, it's been really interesting to see that there's, there have been moments where there's that pool of quiet and that, that coming together, like you feel that coming together, mm -hmm. that one is visible, and then it all breaks out yeah. into you know, lots of movements <laughs> and silly things. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've completely been with 